Melusines are beautiful creatures. They are the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've talked about them already. Um, uh, let's check some more quests. Was there anything else I was going to check around here yesterday? Oh, yes, there was an, another quest here that I didn't start yesterday. And then I think there's a couple more around the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those two. Coverage. A mop boil. I said either find a way to remove it or figure out who's behind it. Easy for you to say. I've tried all kinds of cleaners and none of them worked. If it needs something stronger, we have the to try Hydro Phantasm Taint Be Gone. Hydro Phantasm Taint Be Gone? Are you trying to burn a hole through the wall? We'll all be sleeping with the fishes in all time. What's that? Uh, well, then we'll have to locate the culprit, but we don't have any clues regarding their identity. What's wrong? Is there anything we can do for you? Ah, oh, that. Well, see the mark on the wall? Graffiti is prohibited in the fortress of Mirapit. We've tried everything, but we still can remove it. So, if we could at least locate the culprit. Oh, yes, and people were erasing the formula to remove it. Wait, hold on. Now that I think about it, we aren't completely without leads. I remember clients mentioning that the Fountain Research Institute has a mark that requires a special method to decipher. Are you trying to say that it's the same type of mark? I wasn't interested in the slightest back then, so I didn't bother asking for more information. Maybe he could give us an answer if he was here. Maybe he's the culprit, then shall we go get him? I have no idea where he is though, I haven't seen him all day. And are we really going to ask for his help? I lose a little bit of self-respect every time I ask him for something. In Spymo, you are knowledgeable adventurers with a wealth of experience, so do you have any ideas? Help us locate the culprit behind the graffiti or bring clients here to have a look. Uh, consider it an official commission then, with coupons as compensation. Alright, if it's an official commission, then we'll give it a go. Thank you, in the meantime I'll try to find other means of removing it. Oh, you can check it here. Mm -hmm. Can I get those? No. Mm. To free a minority from their supervisory duties, the road to freedom has been blocked. No matter who you are, please tell me. Huh? And the culprit. Uh. That's the same level. No. Uh. That's the same level. Clients, hello clients, you mean again? Pass up, you did it right. No, I don't think it was you. Let's go with that. Pass up, you're the one behind the graffiti, right? Oh, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? I'm lost. Why don't you ask someone else? I think we've got the wrong guy, Paimon. 
I look around, see anyone else besides you. Let, let's go with that. I don't think we have wrong options here. Yeah, that's right. Stop trying to trick us with your lousy acting. Alright, you win. I did it. Alright. Uh, I was planning to use this to catch up with some acquaintances, but I didn't expect you two would be the ones to show up. Okay, I didn't expect him to actually know what was going on. Maybe have some idea about that, but we are quite vague. Catch up with some acquaintances. The cipher letter is a technology developed by Mr. Butter, uh, and few know how to decode it, even at the Fountain Research Institute. The only reason I know of it at all is because he was my benefactor. Unfortunately, he left us far too young, and management doesn't care for his cipher letter, so I figured that if someone out there could decipher it, then we would have something to talk about. Oh, I don't mean that there's nothing to say between us, but there are many topics we do not have in common. No need to force yourself, there, there really is nothing to say. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, when you say something like that, just how do you expect me to reply? Uh, I know that at times like this, I should be polite and say something like, it might be nice to hear about your adventures, but... I decided to be honest with myself, with this anyway. I don't want to hear novel stories about the outside world, all I want to do is catch up with someone. So I should be the one to apologize. Anyway, is that the only reason you're here? I almost forgot, Gavariette and Mopoil asked us to investigate the culprit behind the graffiti. Turn yourself in, please. Turn yourself in, we won't show you any mercy if you resist rest. Uh, can we just talk about this? Forget about mobile, I just don't want to fall into Gavariette's clutch. Would it be possible for you to, you know, just turn a blind eye to this whole thing? But mobile say graffiti is prohibited in the fortress, and breaking the rules is bad, isn't it? If you're feeling a bit generous with definitions, then the cipher letters on the wall are no different from anything else posted there. They're decorations, nothing more. How about I go with you, but can in but you can decide whether or not to turn me in? Of course, if you choose to help me and save me from Gavariet's clutches, I'd be willing to compensate you accordingly. I'm putting my fate in your hands, let's head out now. Well, I'm not sure there are any more things I can buy with those coupons. So maybe... I can just help him. He didn't have any bad intentions like that. Maybe he can just erase it. You'll be fine. Let's see you found clients, but have found the person responsible for the graffiti, or at least any clues. Well, about that, it was clients. This requires a professional. Clients, have a look. Clients, is the is this the special mark you mentioned before? Let me see. Uh, doesn't look a lot like a gear. Where else could such a huge gear come from except the Fountain Research Institute? It's from the Institute, so, and so are you. I said the link between the two is pretty obvious, just admit it. You're the culprit, aren't you? There are plenty of people from the Institute here. There are too many from people from the <laughs> Institute here. You can say it like that. If one day I should be fortunate enough to dine with Galvana at the Hotel de Boer, if you're still in Dreamland, I can help you wake up. And if you think my punches aren't strong enough, I'm sure Rosimov would be willing to lend a hand or three. Calm down, I'm only giving you an example. It's just an example. Where was I? Uh, anyway. If Galvana and I were to go out together, though so we're both from the fortress, that doesn't mean that there is any connection between us. See, there's no connection whatsoever, there's no link between me and this mark, just like there's no link between me and Galvana. Fine, you convinced me, but only about the relationship between you and Sis. Doesn't that mean that he hasn't convinced you at all? Uh, well... We're, we've got nothing else to say about this, it's up to you guys now. 
Well, no matter what, I owe you my thanks and the compensation you were promised. I, in spam, almost forgot your compensation, although it's a pity you couldn't locate the culprit. But I'm sure clients will have a way to remove the mark. I'll leave the rest to him and Galvariet. Then, in the meantime, I have other work to attend to. So he knows the formula. I thought I would have to search for it to find out the ciphers or something. As I said, I have other work to attend to. Everything has its own proper sequence. You must first understand the principles behind. What a pain, Sis and I are having dinner together today, so I'm leaving when my shift is over. Whether or not this mess has been cleaned up. We can't, like, interact with it. Can we? No. Um, let's just take another quick look around. the check side here oh there's another quest there on um, the lower levels okay so after checking here i'll go to the production zone mm -hmm. I don't know. The, the Pebble characters could have. Uh, they have a place they could stay. They could just be at their home or something all the time for we to chat with them. Oh, we can't go back down there. Or here. Uh, I thought I could come into this tunnel. Okay then, so... Where... The one... Uh... Yeah, I guess. Chamber. It's about the ladder. Oh, if it isn't Ignis and Paimon, do we know you? Come on, I have a bad feeling about this. Don't be so cold, I'll never forget what you did for me that other time. That other time? Ah, uh, we still have so much to ask you. Is that so? Oh, uh, what's this? My memory is second up again. What happened then, I wonder? I can't remember a thing. The wise said it's better to look towards the future than look back into the past. So let's talk about our future collaboration and let bygones be bygones, shall we? I have a few jobs on hand that pay quite well, but I don't have anyone to help out. If you're free, would you like to have a go? Uh, don't you go thinking Don't you go thinking we are that easy to do? Uh, and just how good is the compensation? Hey, uh, this is why I'm so fond of talking business with people like you. What do they call it again? Right, being quick to catch on. How about I state a number that's guaranteed to satisfy you? A hundred coupons. Uh, what do you think? A hundred? Uh, see, you, uh, you are moved by my generosity. Uh, that won't even buy us a bottle of cord, cork. Uh, I'll pay you 100 to work and I'll profit. Uh, yeah, the one we buy. Yeah, if I can believe you had the goal to make that offer. Uh, am I not being generous enough? You youngins really are so. You just don't know what's good for you. You should know there are hordes of poor wretches who would give an arm to do easy and profitable work like this. And yeah, we don't even know what the work is. December is slippery little fraud. I finally caught you. Last time I caught you hanging around the mail room, you were also swindling newcomers into commissions for you for a fraction of the actual fee. 
in the Paimon, you... Ah, it's the same guy. I just now noticed. You didn't fall for his lies, did you? I'm devastated. We're already being tricked once. And, but not this time. And then I'm too late. Anyways, don't believe a word he says. He targets newcomers or anyone aware of the rules and cheats them. There's already a long list of victims. My word, swindle. You make sound so awful. Is there any difference between us? Don't you guards use coupons to make people do miscellaneous work for you too? Uh, we don't pocket a portion of their compensation. What are you hinting at? Don't slander me without any proof. Oh, you want to see some proof? Let's go then. Solitaire is quiet and spacious. A perfect place for you to produce all the proof. Seriously, I still have trouble to deal with the... I still have trouble to deal with at the geode mine shaft after this. Oh, is it Paimon? If possible, could you help me? Uh, it's not like we have all the time in the world either. I'm sure you pay handsomely, I'll do it. Hey. <laughs> uh, payment will be provided in accordance with the regulations, of course. I'm sure you know the standards, and you know I won't try to defraud you. Anyway, some font timer aberrants have been spotted in the chilled mine shaft. They may pose a threat if left unchecked, so they must be dealt with as soon as possible. I'll take this guy to Solitaire first, handing him over to my colleagues will take some time. I'll meet, you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I'm done. Alright, but don't take too long. I'll do my best, but the paperwork is not something I can speed up. I'll leave the business at the mineshaft to you then. Okay, so the guy was just the hook to start the quest. Uh, it's here. Hear everything. Oh, one thing after another. Solidify. <laughs> Settle down. Chip safe now. Let's go back. Uh, there's back. <laughs> uh, you're only just arriving here. Uh, now. We've already driven away all the font and aberrants, so it's fine it happened to me. What? It's fine it happened. Arrive at the scene and find out that all the work has been done by someone else, of course. I mean, there's nothing for me to do here. And this is for you. Thanks so much. I certainly managed to get a good night's sleep tonight. And... How many coupons? Okay, it's more. 
Uh, okay, now I don't suppose there's anything else for me to do around here. Let me check that. The entrance, but it'll probably just be blocked from the other side. Um. Yeah, and I probably did explore here, but I just don't don't remember. I don't know, this feels like the kind of thing I should take down, not have helped bring up. Because this is one less path for me. It wasn't good for me to turn the barrier on. Well, oh, three then. Because there's one there as well. Uh, okay, let's check the one at the bridge here first. Oh no, I think there are some Fatui quests as well. Oh, and some stuff I didn't check around here as well. Brogil. Brogil? I'm not sure. Brog. Brogli? Brogli. Brogli. That's probably not it. And uh, what do I do? Are you okay? Uh, sighing so sadly alone by the water like that, this something bad happened. Yes, and it wasn't any old something bad, but something awful. Uh, apologies, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Braglai, and I'm an entry level researcher at the Fountain Research Institute. And I was previously responsible for monitoring Fontaine's hydrology, hydrology data. What's hydrology data? Simply put, it is all the data related to the various properties of water. For example, there is the temperature of various water layers, water level, rates of current flow and evaporation within the set times, concentration of the salt impurities. Oh, sounds complicated. It is, that's why people are needed, specifically my colleagues and I, to collect this complex data and make observations so that we can detect changes in the water quality in advance. If no one does this work, by the time we discover a huge problem, it will be too late to address it. You know, that is one of the reasons those lovely Oceanids left Fontaine. There was a change in the water quality that made it unsuitable for them to live in. Really? That's not what I heard. Well, that's what I was told during my induction training. Probably the roles of a semblance of personal responsibility in us. The point is, monitoring the hydrology data is pretty important work. For instance, if a change in water quality nears the minimum coefficient, the it could make the taste less smooth and refreshing. What? That's all? Ah, uh, well, that, that one makes it the minimum coefficient, right? But if things got out of hand, what, would the water turn into Fonta? No, it would probably just lead to a mass extinction event all over Fontaine. Oh, well, that is scary. That so sounds like scaremongering to me. No, they really could. Yeah, they're scary. Wait a minute, does that mean you're saying here by yourself because something terrible has happened to the water? Oh, not at all. 
It's just that the monitoring data I gathered have sunk to the bottom along with the observation stage, the whole observation station. And I don't know how I can fish them back out. That's what got me so worried. Mm, the observation station too. Yes, I imagine you've heard about the awful lab accident from before. You know, the one that blew the central laboratory sky high. As ill luck would have it, the lab accident also sunk the hydrology observation station here. Fortunately, my colleagues and I were doing studies somewhere else at the time, so we weren't hurt. But the years of hydrology monitoring data we've collected are all still down there. Well, that does sound quite serious. We'll take care of it. Really? Ah, kind sir. If you can help me, I'll be in your desk for the rest of my life. You should know that ever since the observation station sank, the former departments had to be reorganized, and I was transferred to the newly established Department of Hydrology and Aquatic Life Conservation. Not only is the department head break, breathing down my neck all day, but there are all these new inexplicable rules. We have to report for duty on time, and we still have to make this weekly report at the end of each week. We can't even openly take our afternoon naps in the office anymore. Even worse, there's a woman who keeps a blubber beast in the office. A blubber beast? It's beating me three times already. Which office has a blubber beast? So if our research data from before can be retrieved, I'll be able to think of a way to persuade my supervisor to restore the hydrology monitoring department. That way, my colleagues and I can also be transferred back to our original posts and return to happy lives of ease. Uh, I mean, return to fulfilling lives of field studies. So, after all that, you just want to slack off, don't you? Yeah. Why don't you just go down there and get this stuff yourself? Well, this is embarrassing, but even though the Fountain Research Institute did organize diving training sessions, we strategically held a dinner each time. So, uh, I mean, every diving training session conflicted with our dinner reservation at the, uh, at the Hotel de Bord. What a shame. The guy lives in Fontaine, he works by the water, he studies water, and he don't know how to swim. Uh, anyway, the advancement of the science of hydrology and the future of Fontaine are in your hands, kind sir. As for reward, worry not. As long as you can help me recover my research, I'll do everything in my power to ensure you are adequately compensated. So, I'm begging you, please help me retrieve my, our precious data from the central control room. Is this what you wanted? Oh, I have it already. Uh, yes, this is it, this is it. But you haven't even gone into the water yet. How do you already have the data? Magic. We've been to the place before. I see, thank you. That's all the data from the station now recovered. Well, that's good. Wait a minute, did you say this station? Yes, we have three observation stations and one central processing station in total, each with their own independent data sets. So in order to convey the need for monitoring to my supervisor, the data from the remaining two stations still needs to be recovered and analyzed at the central processing station. Alright, Paimon will bite. Do you also need us to salvage the other two stations? Of course not. The other two observation stations were spared from the lab disaster and continue to stand proudly on solid ground. That's a relief. It's just that those two stations have been taken over by some fellows from Chesnaya. Okay, so maybe that's the other question I remember. From Chesnaya, hang on, you're not talking about the Fatui, are you? That's them. They claim that they got permission from the Maison Gashan to take over the stations. They won't let us anywhere near them let alone retrieve the data. As for the Maison Gaston, as you may know, verifying anything with the Maison Gaston is harder than trying to catch lightning in a bottle. Sounds a little suspicious. Yes, since it's the Fatui we're talking about, they may, they might actually be planning to use the observation stations to do something bad. Paimon doesn't super want to help, but uh, you know, we should take a look just in case. Thanks so much, kind sir. I'll mark the location of the page of the fruit station and crap Suzette station. 
on your map now. Are all these full names? Yes, and they do sound sweet and tasty, don't they? Just the way life ought to be. By the way, this place is the Conch Madeline Station. Imagine, if you would, breaking off a small piece of Conch Madeline. Uh, steeping it, it in warm water or the same and drink it all up. That's what our tea times were like before. I never thought the station would end up sinking like this. Anyway, for me to be happy and free again, I mean, for scientific advancement and the future of humanity, I'm counting on you to help me recover that old monitoring data. It's probably this tower that I investigated already. Yeah. But I won't really remember what was here. Ah, uh, consummate delaying stop safe operation procedures. This notebook must have been made of a water resistant material. It's still in perfect condition even after all this time. There's also a sticky note on the cover. The sticky note is also waterproof. This is already the third time. Remember to follow the instructions precisely when operating. If we lose the data again, we won't get any more afternoon snacks for a month. Flip through the notebook. Standard data export procedure. Confirm the energy storage device below. The main console is online. In accordance with the Voltaic Research Institute Energy Conservation Regulation, device turned off by default. The when energy supply is normal, the green indicator on the main console will light up. At times like this, pull the control lever on the left mark do not touch or else to print out the observation data. Uh, data should be printed at least once every three months or else data may be lost. Okay, I suppose I did that already. Yeah, I think this was closed. I had to enter from below there and light this all up uh, uh, so now ah uh, yeah that I marked ah uh, let me see do I have the quest here I don't have the quest here he said he would mark for me so I thought it would be a quest there uh I think there's some photo there, uh, somewhere around here, here maybe. Yeah, he said I was going to mark, but nothing really showed up. Uh, why did I mark that as well? Oh yeah, there's another quest down there. Okay, let's go there, because I know there are photo there. Hmm. Stabilize! Silence! <laughs> Shouldn't get careless! No, oh, you're actually not part of the quest. <laughs> it's up there that I need to go. <laughs> Can't see? Bow your head! <laughs> Be sanctified! <laughs> I will have order. Settle down. Give my prior in consideration. Uh, I need to use the burst to save Jean Lee's life. Frozen. 
Another couple of stairs here too. One with the force. Let the mighty be humble. It's safe only. Bow your head. Disgusting. Okay, dead. Heads just only on balls. The second captain now is in here. On the niche tissue on the last, and it just does have conscious hard work. Captain, where it is already. What? <laughs> oh, okay, let's go from the city. Grab this. Uh, <coughs> an Oculus up there. Did I climb, bitch? Or no? There. Good, I remembered. Uh, there's a gate there. Maybe. There's a map. An opening somewhere. Closed. Closed. So closed. Ah. That I don't think I noticed. that but I thought I would use that to open up there why is there a chest here good question and how do I enter there? Ah, now it's... Right. Peculiar Thought Towers near Fountain Research Institute. Towers. That's just one tall tower. There are no other towers marked.
That is off, but the power is on. Okay, we need to do something elsewhere then. This is, I think, two rooms above. Yeah, there's another force field there. Uh, so what do I do? <coughs> What's up with that? It's a bit weird to just have that camera here. If that's related anyway, because there's a, a weird mecha here that I didn't mess with because he looked different. Stabilize. Perfect guardian mech, new attack weapons, mech R101. Bow your head. Okay, no big deal. Be sanctified. Is that relevant at all? No? Okay, we just one of those. Ah, uh, there's a letter here. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Gather! I see through you! Don't be a killjoy! Oh, just be done. Looks like I went too far. Just once. Uh-uh. No food, no after naps, no idle talk. We can only stay here like idiots for those to write in notes to communicate. There's no way to, like, to leave. That's me, we should just find some excuse to get raised by the maze of garden years. The way we we have two easy days living at the fortress of Merrifield. You better hope he doesn't find this notebook or we're done for. Blessed. If only Captain Malinovsky was still here. Uh, well, aren't you all a bunch of idle hands? As for me, I'm having to run between two camps. Why I've been... I've already managed to wear all the boots I ordered from Bertie's house of grass last week. Seriously, if you know, I have left... I have left with Malinovsk. This other idiot has no clue how to treat a lady. So... I have to find this Malinovsk. Let me just open my Genshin map over here. And, and see some places I didn't get chests yet. Because then they'll probably be around but we camps I found Check again the tower here. See if I didn't miss anything. 
They don't go south. Hey. I tried to mess with it, didn't I? I don't think it was glowing. Yeah, I don't think this was glowing before. 34th Independent Investigative Squad Deployment in Mount Isus. Eastern Quadrant Deployment Plan. 34 Independent. Ah, same thing. Uh, Camp 1 located south of the Broken Bridge, behind the Observation Tower. Purpose to safeguard the logistical road, routes, guaranteeing the safe transport of supplies. Members this Corporal blah, 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 blah. Petunius Shagavyev Yuchchev. Camp 2 located southern side highland of the observation tower near the cliff. Purpose to eliminate the potential threat posed by landings. Corporal Eubov and Zinkov. Additionally, Sergeant Izzy Vorovskaya is assigned with conducting patrols between the two camps to monitor any potential misconduct and handle com complacency within the squad. The unauthorized departure from the camp resulting in dismissal, such soldiers will be reported to higher ranking officers to be dealt with by the system. The second deputy captain, second lieutenant, Shuli Milov. Okay. Uh, Mount Isus, I'm supposing, is the area I am now. So, south of the Broken Bridge, behind the observation tower. And near the cliff, southern side as well. Highland. Uh, maybe this will get marked on the map. Nearby camps. Okay. Ah, uh, the broken bridge. So one was that one. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe that. Maybe that. I'm pretty sure I got chests around those places already. We probably need those beetles. <laughs> ah, there's another one here. I'll uproot you. Solidify the tides beckon. It's time for me to swarm. Mm hmm. Uh, disciplinary procedures, independence of squad directive 15, ever since Lieutenant Malinovitsk went to supervise the northeastern observation tower, this squad has become remiss with their discipline. In order to restore strict discipline, both soldiers' sense of duty, create a team mindset and restore a sense of collective honor within the squad, the following order is hereby given, effective immediately, and CEOs and privates station here must assemble before the observation tower daily at the appointed time and eat together in the designated area when the signal is given by striking the pot eating privately without permission is prohibited and striking the pot on one's own and disrupting the squad's rest time is strictly forbidden you are all hereby notified okay so let's try the pot so strict but definitely doesn't want to work for the guy where do they get the nerve to talk about sense of collective honor? 
Where's the honor in not even letting anyone eat? Uh, he's not completely wrong. What a baffling rule. I don't know they are a military organization. I don't think that's... They need to keep the group tight, you know. It's not the kind of job I would want, but... I guess it makes sense in a military context. Well, discipline is important, but surely this is taking too far. No, they should have to meet everybody once a day and eat together. Uh, come to think of it, if we also cause a commotion, we can probably lure up the platoon and leaders should lock down, right? And then we'll be able to get up there and let's give it a try. <laughs> uh, is that the pot? Yeah. <laughs> tum tum tum, no longer after her French footsteps here coming. So before I'm going to be looking at the that's what I'm doing times. Gather! Your questions to I will have to order. Strike pots forbidden for some reason. This one's well done, but unfortunate false. Let the mighty be humble. Tree, tree, tree. So I saw a couple of here. The platoon leader fled with his subordinates. Ah, oh. they ran away. But did they like it open? This time we can get up there. Let's hurry and go take a look. Those. Ah, I didn't even thought it was part of what I had to do. I thought it was just a random puzzle around. So this was offline, so if I could clip in here some way, I would have to pass the quest still to open it. What do we have here, right? Looks like lever with do not touch under any circumstances is next to it. Pull the lever. You pull the lever, after some rumbling and shaking, the machine spits out a stack of paper tape. Great, now we have the monitoring data from the Crypto Z station. Uh, punch tape made out of special waterproof material. The data recorded within can only be deciphered using specialized machinery. Good, I don't have to read it. All that's left now is the Pit of the Fruit station. Let's go. And where is it? Because you didn't point me to this location. Well, I think you'll be here. I'm pretty sure there were some Fatui there. I remember there was a room I was exploring that I just entered, there was Fatui, Paimon said something, then I left. Because it felt like the beginning of a quest. I think it was here. Uh, no, maybe no. Well, I have plenty of 
chest markers over here. So I know I didn't enter here yet. Hey, a cat. is gonna another ship death what are you having you already you should go okay that's part of the quest this is the toy seems that we went for the stairs let's move carefully and go down have a look and this best is jars what are they called again energy storage devices or something they've been disappearing without trace lately I put one down, then it disappears, I put another one down, and it disappears too. I even posted someone to watch over it at night. They disappeared along with the jar. They even left a note too, something along the lines of working night shifts is always my youth. <laughs> I might as well go be a research assistant and at least get a decent paycheck. How baffling. I place the last energy storage device on the first floor. If this one disappears too, then whoever was responsible for patrolling that day is going to have to report to Shumlov themselves. Okay, I can mess with it already. It's still. Uh, and that's blocked. Oh, that's blocked as well. Can I just click to move fast to another one? Certainly worth the extra mile. Hey, you, where'd you come from? Gather and shroud. Silence. Kill joy. Not breaking a sweat. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Time to finish so let's go up fast. Take a look around here and see if we can find anything else. Let's reach the top tower. Okay, maybe they close the door or something once I <laughs> bow your head. No, uh, that. I'll move again. Click. Click. Uh, can I use it up here? Yeah. Open door. No. Open door. Now the top door should be open. Let's hurry up. Pick up. Just as I expected. Okay, what do you have here? Alright, looks like there's a lever, do not touch, and then seal stance, pull the lever. Firmly the tape, firmly shaking at the tape. Great, now we have monitor data from both. Uh, punch tape. And so let's go back to Broglie now. Uh, 
chest marked. Another chest marked. And that marked. And that marked. Okay. Uh, where's the guy? Ah, he's back there. Yeah, because if I was to just look for him, I'd probably have gone to where I found him the first time. Hey, Brangla, we have the data from the two modern stations you mentioned. Really? That's great. Please, let me take a look at them here. What about our compensation? About that, please don't worry. If my supervisor approves restarting our original hydrological research, you'll definitely get paid. If? That's a relief. Not really. You get the paper tapes, you collect to Bragla. Uh, yes, this is it, this is it. You two are angels. Angels sent from the heavens to save me from my misery and return me to my happy life of ease. Did you really have to say like that? Well, there's no time to lose, kind sir. I'll go find my supervisor and request the key to the central processing station. Please wait, wait for me. Just hurry up, would you? An excited Brockler returns after a short while. Good, he's excited. Sir, I have the key. Now we just have to go to the central processing station to organize the data and then we can resume hydrological monitoring again. And we have to go with you. Considering the situation of the Pied Fruits in Krebs' stations, it is possible that those fellows from Chesnaya are also at the central processing station. So please come with me. Don't forget to compensate us. Uh, where? Ah, okay, maybe that's where I... I'm like a Fatui, just going at the door. Mm. No, I guess I didn't get up there either. I got some things outside here, but not there. Here we are, sir. Uh, this is the central processing station where our hydrology research data is analyzed. Uh, it doesn't look anyone's here. Can I go now? Without any fatui, we're not needed, right? We can't be sure yet. What if there are soldiers from Chesna inside? I might not be able to see Conch Madeleine again. Uh, I mean, I shan't ever conduct hydrological research again. Please, go inside with me. Fine, just open the door. Okay, so I need him to open the door, so we couldn't explore, or anyway. Chest. Just as I expected. Bug. Money. Money. Bug. I didn't notice there were clouds on those ceilings. No, so quiet there in the inside of two we completely different previous stations. Perhaps they didn't discover this place, or even stuff here in the original stage, so just a lot of dust. Mm, let me see. If we can put together the collected data, I reckon we'll get some significant re results and archaeological monitoring should resume very soon. I can't wait. That sounds great. Why do I get this feeling that we're missing part of the data? I'm, am I just paranoid? Why are you, you unsure? Aren't you in charge of the data? Ah, you're Manalyansk. Ah, and you're Hydro. <laughs> uh, hmm? oh, sorry, I got the wrong room. Okay. After the commander leaves the scene at a speed that does not match his physique. Wait, this something just passed by us. <laughs> passed by? He was faster than a fish head. So agile. Wait, that's not the point. He's a Fatuz. Why, why is he here? Ninos, we need to go after him and get to the bottom of this. Hey, he went down. I thought he, I thought he came up from, from below. Uh, oh. 
No, stop chasing me. I already locked the doors. You can't get in. No, Fred just need to open the mechanism. The shortcut in the entrance below. Stop that gentleman from escaping. There's another here. There's a fire child for some reason. Stabilize! Settle down! Awful blasted bunch of stop chasing me! Let the mighty be hunted for this water. Not breaking a sweat. Our options for taking the jumps into the water, creating a huge splash. Oh, he kept going. Nothing here. Oh, what? A, it looks like the one from up there. Okay, you close the door when he run away. with delusions as well. No That's a faster, you dare hurry up to stop them. The tides beckon. Stop, I surrender, stop. You you are here for the paper tapes, right? You have you can have them all, just stop attacking me. Uh, for the commander hands over all the research data. Is that all, Brogoli? Mm, well, maybe. Yeah, this should be all of it, sure. Just forget that Pan asked. What's your objective here? Yes, tell us everything. Why are you occupying these stations? To slack off. <laughs> Uh, I'm Malinovsk, commanding officer of the 3rd 4th Independent Investigative Squad. Uh, wasn't one of the guys complaining on the diary that they wanted to go to the fortress to slack off? At first, when we had just been dispatched to Fontaine, everyone was quite happy, and the mission wasn't that difficult. So, what does that have to do if you occupy the stations? A few months ago, due to some organizational changes, Headquarters signing someone named Shumilov as my new deputy. Ah, okay, so they weren't. You were. Shumilov, right. The platoon leader we saw at Krebs' at station. Yeah, that's the one. I can't stand that fellow. But I can't get rid of him, so I look for excuses to go on missions to get away from him. Wait, Pam is confused. You say he's your deputy, right? That's right. So aren't you... Aren't you his superior? Why do you have to listen to him? Uh, well, he's less him, but he always acts seriously and makes others, others do the work. And his words are hard to refute. Uh, why did you get up and go back down? Uh, his words are hard to refute, and I can very well tell him that no one here wants to work in front of everyone, can I? 
Uh, it just so happened that I saw some strange towers nearby. I told him that we we're going to investigate and for forge the letters from the Maison Gaston. So we forged the documents. Paimon knew it. And there's no way that the Maison Gaston would let you manage the hydrological monitoring stations. Any other questions, Brockline? I see, so you're just trying to slack off? No, I mean, you're just trying to get a little peace in this noisy world that, by occupying our monitoring stations. Well, how would you rate our accommodations? Um, very comfortable. The scenery nearby is beautiful too. I usually feel a lot better after taking a short nap. Right? Especially when you wake up to and realize that there are no urgent tasks and that you're not being watched by someone you don't like. You can just enjoy the afternoon sun and the breeze. It's like waking up from a dream and entering another where you don't have to worry about anything. That's how it's, you're supposed to live. It's a shame that you haven't tried the limited edition black tea in the Vasari passage. If you get a chance, wait, where is this conversation going? Anyway, please come with us. It's time to let the Fountain Research Institute know what you've done. Uh, wait. Uh, he actually didn't cause any damage to our research, did he? Objectively speaking, he even collected some data for us. He is just someone who wants to be rid of work and live a comfortable life. That's right. Wait, that's not something to be proud of. <laughs> even when you put it like that. Kind sir, please let him go on the name of science. Uh, is this really related to science? Well, if our requester says so... Thank you sir, and the two of you. I swear I'll never do such a thing again. I'll do my best to slack off on my own. I love how determined you are. Can you not get half job or something like this? The Fatui Commander leaves feeling grateful. With that result, I'll be going back to go through the data. Thank you for your work. Please take this. Is it real result? Whatever, at least the stations are operational again. The Fatui platoons have left. Pamos pose over. Hmm. Okay, let me just mark here. Okay, so now... Mm -mm. I don't think that's a quest. I think that's another mecha that I... That's the first one I thought I found like that and I... It looked like a quest. I thought it was even going to talk to me, so I didn't get closer. But I suppose I just have to destroy it. No, this definitely looks like a quest more than the other guy. This is order. New type purification mech. Imperfect suppression. Bow your head. One with the force. <laughs> I hear everything. Silence. All right, so nothing really. Uh... Come on, just want to grab that. I think there was, yeah, a locked door here, but I don't have a way to need. Okay, I haven't checked this area yet. I'm not sure if there will be 
Uh, but this looks quest-like. Okay, I suppose I have to throw that there. Unlock myself in here. somewhere else uh, should I maybe that's the exit from somewhere sure let's check back here because i didn't go there because the map looked like an arena so i thought maybe there could be some boss or something there well not really <laughs> those bosses that are there are marks on the map but all of those they're the guys that just fought from here. That's good, oh, but I... This could be an area that I actually pass by. I... Yeah, I don't think you... We don't get to see that when the swimming through there. Oh, he doesn't go far. <laughs> no, that won't do. Be <laughs> Can't see? Let the might be humble. Shouldn't we have something to mess with this? <laughs> Shouldn't we have that energy? The purple <laughs> energy to turn that thing off? I'm supposed to get that with climbing a beach and then gliding down, or we can just get Kazu, Kazu no, get, no, well, maybe even Kazu can do it alongside John Lee. But no, let's just get the Wanderer quickly and grab that. <sighs> what do you want from me? Yeah. 
Just uh, the request activate the press, ensure pipe pressure is normal before adding the stock. Forging press device operation standards press startup preparation step one before this. Initiating the pressing process, the operator should wear protective gear at all times and perform a comprehensive equipment inspection. Step 2. Before starting up the equipment, the operator must ensure the stock has been placed correctly to prevent mechanical damage to the equipment due to idling. Step 3. Check the equipment's energy supply system to ensure that the equipment can run within normal parameters. Once the above inspection steps have been completed, the pressing process can be initiated by, at the terminal. Pressing process operation. Uh, when the pressing process is activated, the press will cause the stock to enter an activated state. You need to activate the press when the stock is giving off an orange red light. Operating the press hammers with the hammers, he fixed effectively reduce the formation, so the operator must pay close attention to the state of the stock at all times during operation and manually operate the press with the hammers with the right timing. Troubleshooting to facilitate the operator's self-inspection, a fail-safe system has been installed on the base of currently available equipment models. The operator can troubleshoot systems, trouble problems based on errors reported by the fail-safe system, for more detailed instructions, please consult the Emergency Response Handbook 3rd Edition. Arcum stock complete the press preparation work. Or all form Arcum, which can come together naturally under special circumstances. Maybe to unleash limitless powers are being forged. Okay, so I have to forge that before. Mm. I, I think it's that. Uh, yeah, okay, now I remember. The thing I marked here. Is one that I found way up there in in the floating water. I don't remember if I found the other one. Oh, I guess it was with Caterpillar while we were escaping. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know what I have to do with that. Uh, well, but anyway, I don't have the Archeum needed now.
Solidify! One with the force! Silence! The tides beckon. Settle down! Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Emergency Handbook Book 3rd Edition. Common problems when appropriate emergency response measures are listed in this manual. Uh, if an error is not included in the manual occurs, please contact senior research provided at once. Common errors include the following insufficient energy supply. This error is usually caused by insufficient pipe pressure. Uh, specifically, when an indicator gas leak occurs from the valve or exterior surface of the pipe. To address this, it's just evolve by turning the handwheel until the valve no longer is leaking indicator gases. Okay. System overheated. This error indicates the press temperature is too high. This state, the entire system is more hard to lose. Addressing this high priority recommended methods to decrease the temperature of the press ventilation window. Initiate the cooling program to display the heat. Water entering the system when this occurs, abort the process and perform an inspection of the environmental ceiling to prevent recurrence. In case of emergency, the emergency drainage function can also be activated to temporarily address the unexpected presence of excess water. Blocked emergency drainage pipe. This error is normally caused by the foreign substance blocking the drainage pipe. The, when this occurs, simply inspect the and clean the drainage pipe. Repair requests and feedback log. Repair requests evidence of leakage on the ground floor found near the cooling system and water and take under the press. Requesting under maintenance, urgent maintenance. Maintenance outcome temporary sealant has been applied to the water intake to prevent water ingress. Due to the risk of backflow when using the cooling system, its use has been suspended until a permanent solution can be implemented. Okay, but anyway, I won't be able to mess with this stuff right now. So I just need to... ...to stop. Yeah. Maintenance log. All I can do now is try to stop the cooling system and try to seal the leaking areas. It's just a stopgap measure, however. If someone did remove the seals and operate the cooling system, the whole room would be instantly filled with a huge amount of water. The fortune press would be utterly ruined. Uh, so, no one other than Bravad really cares about the devices in here. I suppose a prayer that the emergency drain proves useful couldn't hurt. Okay, I'm not really sure how to interact with each thing, but I suppose it would just be turn off the valves and then fill the room with water somehow and then break that thing open to let the water out again. Huh? A hand wheel down here. Yeah. 
And I don't even know how many. That's not changing. Okay, it stopped. I. Uh, I don't even know how many crystals I'll need to find <laughs> before I can make that a whole crystal. And I'm not sure where I will make that or just by catching them all. It will be done. <laughs> uh, but I suppose there isn't anything I can do right now. It. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have the thing to put in here yet, anyway. So, yeah. Let's just leave the furnace open and go check another quest. Uh, that one I cannot mark. It was just the guard I killed. And now there's one there. Kid, he didn't get caught by healers and tossing their steel, did he? What kid? Look, see the helicopter camp uh, by the water over there? Oh, yeah, I avoided that. I forgot about it. Uh, it's as if it just appeared out of nowhere. They are working day in, day out, and not resting when they should. Uh, just like Balint, that silly kid. The way I see it, looks on his side, so he's probably not cooking in a pot right now, maybe he's having an animated little chat with the healers as I speak, who knows. So what you're saying is that someone you know was taken by the healers over there, how are you not worried at all? If you're serious then we need to hurry up and save him, and go save him. Save him? Why? I already told him that there's no need to bust his chops like that for such a dangerous job. Just report it to Westian during the scheduled check-in and have him find someone to deal with. Uh, I was kind enough to teach him, but just how did that kid repay me? He accused me of not taking work seriously and neglecting my duties. Seeing as he doesn't take the wisdom and experience of his elders seriously, all I, can ha all I have to say is that this was all his own choice. Young people ought to get a few knocks and bruises. How can they grow up without learning a few tough lessons? It's hard to judge without hearing both sides of the story. It could be in danger, yeah, you can, and you can mature and grow if you're dead. That's right. I got some saving to do. It's dangerous out there. What if your youngsters get hurt? Relax, Ignis is really strong. Just wait here, Gramps. We'll be back in a jiffy. Well... I feel like I should take that with me. Oh yeah, it's Fontaine, the lane of water. And that's like the second time I get my boats over here. seen one of you guys on the surface like that. <laughs> I 
somebody help me Probably be faster to just deal with them using no legs. Check the loot first. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. So you two are too kind, thank you. Are you all right? I'm fine, I think. Your parents back to differ. You better hurry back to the peerless. I guess that'll be faster. Two youngsters were in this impressive balance, on the other hand. And now look, well, just what did I say? It was too dangerous for you to deal with. You didn't believe me then, but hopefully you've learned your lesson now. I well, I still don't want to admit you were wrong. I really have liked to hear just what other enlightened opinions you still had to offer. I want to drink some water. Bunny finds a water bottle and gulps down several mouthfuls. Then breaks off a piece of dry bread and starts chewing. The whole time he is completely focused on eating and drinking, seemingly in death to the old man's words, regardless of what he says. Well, at least, at least I'm still alive. Thank you for your help. Were enough for you too? I'm afraid I probably, probably have left your parents with nothing but survivor benefits. Uh, that's that would still be better than getting fired for causing a huge safety incident and getting fired because I was slacking on the job. You little nothing I say ever gets through to you. Guys, this may sound like a little shameless, but I've got to say it, this is for everybody's safety. I assume the two of you know how to dive, right? Uh yeah, but when I was captured by the hill shoes, I lost my dive suit. Our routine inspections reveal that the spares were defective, uh, and though we've applied for new ones, they haven't been delivered yet. But the maintenance of pipelines cannot be delayed. If the two of you know how to dive, then could you please go inspect the fortress pipelines for me? Of course, you'll be well compensated for your work, so don't worry about that. Seeing as this involves everybody's safety, it's not like we can't do it. Inspecting pipeline sounds like a job that should be left to professionals though. 
Are you sure about leaving to us? It's nothing more than a routine checkup. I'm expecting there will be some minor problems as there were four areas of risk for leaks last time I did an inspection. They shouldn't be that difficult to fix, so I'll explain to you. If you notice there is a gas leak in the pipeline, then it was likely caused by an aquatic creature or non-creature object colliding with it. The emergency measure here is to control the flow by adjusting the regulator valve, temporarily stopping the gas leak. That's all you need to do. There's a technique for adjusting the regulator valve. When rotating the handwheel, you must keep an eye on the gas flow volume. If it is decreasing, then you're on the right track. Now, the final thing she gets now. Should you have any questions about your job, I'll be happy to clarify them for you anytime before you complete the routine inspection. Okay, let's give it a shot. Hmm. They are all a bit far. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's check those. They don't check the other one and jump back here. See, gas leaks on pipes nearby. There's gas leak. There's a regulator problem. Okay. Ah, hang on. I need to deal with them, otherwise, I'll die while I'm here. This is less. Ah, I have to deal with both. Okay. And now let's check the others. Didn't pay attention, but I thought it would be another uh, leak above. Done. There's something there that may, may be a question. Oh, I didn't open that. Oh. Oh, hang on. Is that... Ah, okay. I didn't notice was that inside. So, yeah, it makes sense that I didn't open it. Fix now, too. Now, back there. No more gas or Let's head back to the wharf. Thank you. 
Done. Uh, we're back. And there were indeed a few small problems, but don't worry, you will handle them all by following the instructions you gave us. Your help is really appreciated. If you hadn't fixed those potential safety risks in a timely manner, you would have been far too late to fix them had we led them faster into a larger disaster. And this is why I don't see eye to eye with Monster Argoid. Uh, so I don't. I know that he's taking care of me in his own way. Anyways, thanks again so much for saving my life and for helping with the inspection. Here, please take this as your compensation. Sorry for troubling you here and holding up your journey. I wish you to a safe journey. And there should be more quests like this. It was quick, simple, and we're done with it. So I'm very grateful for your assistance earlier. How have you been? Our most recent inspection has confirmed that the pipes are in good condition. I don't think there is anything to worry about. The assistance is SCN brothers are also very professional they've been great help asking about you not the pipes oh i see thanks for your concern other than instant i started studying some basic self-defense in my time off so now even if i run into trouble i'm uh, working i should be able to escape at least there are some risks associated with working out here it, will, it would be a good idea to include some fitness and self-defense skills in our staff training from now on Why waste your own time or all that annoying maintenance work when there are others who can help? I'm about this pier. The Fort of the Mirror Pier has lots of pipelines. Someone needs to maintain them, don't they? That's our job. It's mostly minor repairs, patching this and that up. I mean, what do they expect someone like me to do if, they, if something major happens anyway? I just do what I'm able to, like taking letters into the city for people when, they, when I have day off. Okay, so now let me check. Uh, uh, I think this will be closer. Just something I remembered. Yeah, I'm not sure, it could be a quest or not. Yeah, here. I almost got close to one of them and I could turn it off. No? I could turn it off once. I don't remember why. So I thought maybe I could turn them all off and do something. Hmm. I am pretty sure I turned it off once. mark here I, mean, I haven't checked this camp because it looked different quests like so I didn't mark it because I didn't see any character there but I didn't get too close to it oh here's Oh, what are you doing? 
finish a server, you rotten little hag, why don't you try asking for your brother? What? What's going on? Turn this Zayton Peach. Hang your brother over. The heartless rats betrayed us. The boss is practically frowning at the mouth. How is that possible? I thought you were all friends. It's precisely because we were friends that he could betray us, Blanche. This is how the world works. But I don't know where he is either. I don't know either. You really are ley lines. Absolutely ley lines. Ley lines. Outdated? Ley lines are outdated. Ley lines shall be abandoned. The future belongs to the new tide. I don't know what you're talking about, but if he did something wrong, let me apologize on his behalf. Just please let me go. Alright, sure. Let's take a vote. Take a vote? On what? On whether or not we should let you go? Of course. Do you think the new tide re revolves around you? Gravelous wolf hook. Uh, that's right. I, a vote is necessary when opinions differ. Making arbitrary demands won't cut it. This is also how the world works, Blanche. Wait. Wait for what? You're gonna vote for letting the guy go, right? Fine, let's make it 1 to 0 in your favor. But the new tech commands me otherwise. Now it's a 1 to 1 draw. Saying loyal to your friends is also how the world works. Sorry, Blanche. I'm with the new tag on this one. 1 to 2. What an extraordinary twist of fate. You scoundrels. I haven't agreed to anything. Try to understand the situation, would you, girl? You're just one, and guess what? One is completely useless when it's two against one. Yep, the principle of majority rules is not only how the world works, but also the a fundamental part of order. Uh, now you better speed out. Where is the traitor hiding? Do I get a vote? In Paimon 2? Hey, yeah. Oh, hi there, hey there, friends. What a coincidence that we should meet here in the wilderness. So, how will you be voting? Hey, wait, who are you two? Don't act like we're friends. Has no one taught you the most important thing is keeping a respectful distance from other people? Uh, you all want to talk about keeping your distance? You're the ones bothering others? You've got some nerve. Hey, calm down, little one. You know what? It's pretty cool how you're just floating around. Oh, why not work under me? I'll call you the training flyer. No way, Paimon's friend is way cooler than you. Hey, you're messing Paimon's train of thought. Let the kid go right this second. Uh, you're not part of my gang, so why should I listen to you? That said, now it's two to two now, somehow. Hey Wolfhook, what are you doing? Stepping votes from people we don't even know? Well, where's the voting button? Someone help me vote for letting the kid go. Quit pestering me, or uh, it's no more Mr. Nice Traveler for you. Uh, now it's 2 to 3. Another extraordinary twist of fate. Stop Wolfhook, I thought we were friends. Which side are you on? The side of the majority rule. Uh, or should we let our fists do the talking? No, the majority. The minority must be the majority, right? This is how the world works. When the, seriously, why did I even come to you for help? Darn it. Uh, hey, Trinity Flyer, I'll let you in this time, but... Listen up, girl. Go tell your brother to get in touch with us immediately if he doesn't want to bite it. You hear me? Goodbye, my new voter friends. <laughs> I'm Blanche. Oh, and if it's possible, please ask your brother to contact us. Thanks. Well, they're finally gone. Those two are so weird. Uh, are you okay, kid? I'm fine, thank you. And that floating miss over there. Call me Paimo, is Ignus. Thank you, I am Blanche. You two must be great adventurers then. I'll definitely visit the adventurers guild too, thank you. But I have more important things to do right now. My brother's gone missing. I need to find him. But once I do, I'll go visit you at the Adventures Guild. Uh, sorry, I need to go. Uh, thank you again. Hey, wait up. Oh, she's gone. Why is she in such a hurry? 
And let's help, help her. It's too dangerous for a kid to be out there alone. What if she can't fight her brother? She doesn't seem to want to involve us. Uh, must be because she doesn't have money. She knows her adventures cost a lot more. But those guys won't let her off the hook this easily. So we have to help. Inos, how about Paimon pays with your fee? You can take it from Paimon's full fund. And have you asked the full fund first? Paimon did. He said, please use me how you see fit. I don't remember ever saying that. Hey, you're not Paimon's full fund. Well, you're not just that. Paimon will fund your food supply once she gets rich. But first, let's stop making jokes. The girl needs your, our help. Alright, staying loyal to your friends is how the world works after all. And Paimon knew it, you were already planning to help, aren't, weren't you? Let's hurry up and catch up with her before she gets too far away. Oh, looks like he's over there. Hey there, Kiro. Why are you sitting here? She's not sitting anymore. That was kind of sudden. She just said she was sitting and they just teleport her like that. In the Empire Good memory. We were, we were here to help you find your brother. Thank you, but I'm worried that... Don't worry, we won't charge you. We just can't stand idly by when someone needs our help. It's not that. My brother left me some money. Just worried that you worry about your brother being a treasure hoarder. Worried that we might be treasure hoarders, your brother. Yes. You're good people, I can see that, but my brother and those two were friends. I know being a treasure hoarder is an honest job. I don't want to drag you into their business. I know how you feel. I'm also looking for my family. Hmm. That's why finding your brother should be your first, our first priority. Yeah, we'll find your brother first, and then we'll ask him what happened. See, there's nothing to worry about. We're the ideal people to help you. Just leave it to us. Really different. I see. Then, thank you for your help. Uh, here's what happened. A month or so ago, my brother happened to acquire a potion formula that could be very valuable. It's said to be work of the Fontaine Research Institute, and it's known as pure water. Huh. After the institute exploded, many things were scattered in the wilderness, and my brother often roamed around the area. That's how he picked it up. He came across by himself. No, maybe. He might have been with a group of people, but my brother must have kept it for himself. And that's why his friends call him a traitor. That's the only reason he can come up with anyway. No wonder those two treasure holders were looking for him. But why are all of you here? Uh, are there any leads here? Well, this is to be the backyard of the Fontaine Research Institute, which was home to various plant nurs nurseries. It's said that the potioner who created the pure water once lived here in seclusion to work on it. The formula was written without too much detail or context, and contained the names or of some raw ingredients, but my brother couldn't understand them, so he came in here looking for to see if there were any relevant manuscripts left. And then he disappeared. Yeah, from the look of this place, it's been long abandoned, with no nurseries inside. Even this house is empty. Where could my brother have gone? Don't worry, we'll find him. Oh, speaking of which, what's your brother's name, Blanche? It's Tricky Bull Fruit. Uh, he's also one of the Fruity Order's operatives. Uh, the name's a bit of a surprise, but not really. Anyway, let's try calling out to him from around here. Hey, Tricky Bull Fruit, where are you? Tricky Bull Fruit, you seriously is looking for you. Uh, ah, is that Bauer? Tricky Bull Fruit, it's quick if you can hear us. Stop that, Miss Paimon, we might draw, draw attention of his enemies. Makes sense. Sorry, Paimon forgot that we are not the only ones looking for him. Squeak. Uh, what was that? Did you hear that? Paimon heard something. I heard it. Me too. 
Let's look around, but I'm almost certain someone's hiding nearby. We can do his enemies. I don't know if someone's picking. Are you hiding in the tree trunk? Apparently not. Hello, someone is speaking. Are you hiding the one barrel? Apparently not. Uh, another tree. Oh, someone is picking. Are you hiding the mud? Apparently not. It looked like a. sounded like a door. Let's get the door now. Hello? Did someone say something? Are you hiding inside? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, but I think so too. Seriously? Wait, you, who are you? You said something again? Brother, it's my brother's voice. Brother, are you inside? I'm not anyone's brother. I just borrowed that guy's voice. What? You're a tricky bull fruit, aren't you? Stop this act right now. Your sister is worried to death. I told you, it's not me. Come inside and you understand. Try opening the door. Push the door, but the door pushes back. You were hoping that it would open its heart to you, but the lock rejects you. It's, n it's not gonna squeak open. It won't open. Squeak. Hey, stop acting like a kid. Just hand us the key already. Doors come in all shapes and sizes. Those that can open have a key and those that can go without just like the situation you're facing right now shall i show you how violence opens all doors the poor world gave birth to a poor child and the poor child has learned poor skills violence destruction conflict they shall have ex exceptionally poor effect on me brother no my brother wouldn't say such things you're not my brother who are you Oh, who is this? What a purely princess. Oh, even the blue crowd fringe would dance for you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am apostle of the world of intense purity. I've descended into this darn cabin now. Ju so just call me the cabin of intense purity. As for your brother, the vile man known as Trick Bull Fruit, his vileness is beyond your, your ken. And upon entering a pure world, the vile one found no escape. Sorry, oh, a what word again? What are you talking about? My brother isn't that kind of person. Wait, he's gone into another, to another world? Do you mean he's dead? The world has wrapped itself around him, just like resin wraps around a war. He's merely trapped. Does that another world really exist? What do you think, Inus? Do you believe that? You know better than us when it comes to other worlds. It's possible. Uh, Mr. Kevin of Satan's Purity, please tell me how I can get my brother back from the world. I merely know how to lead people there, but I don't know how to guide someone back. In that case, what's your objective? Uh, countless are the wise, but you are the rarest among them. I spoke in haste when there were more important things to do. The person is trapped by the world, and the world is infected by that person, and thus has the pure white path falling into darkness. Therefore, I cannot embark on the road back home and instead require your assistance. Um, Paimon doesn't think the guy we were looking for was such a big troublemaker. But do not forget that to help me is to help yourselves. Once everything is done, I shall accidentally leave a key behind. Then you shall unexpectedly obtain a key due to blind chance, of course. Will that allow me to bring my brother back? I dare not guarantee your success, but this is the only way to the other side. 
What? You can't even guarantee that? Can you at least tell us how we're supposed to help you then? Ain't no bad stuff. We don't do that. I swear in Purit's name that I have never committed any evil. Not from the moment of my birth. I only require the pure pine cones. A few pure pine cones. They are all I need to repair the contaminated path. Pure pine cones. Pine never heard of those. They are precious fruit planted by the by potioner and can only be found around this cabin. Why are they so effective, you ask? Why, they are the miraculous herbs watered with pure water. Pure water? Isn't that the potion formula that my brother obtained? Now Pam remembers the potioner of Fontaine Research Institute. Did he... The previous potioner is indeed the last lucky soul to have visited the world of purity. If we are talking about the fortune he obtained in the paradise, then it is this thing we call pure water. This cabin I now live in was once his residence. Oh, so others have been to that world too, have they? Enos Paimo was a little skeptical about the truth of his words, but what he said matches what Blanche told us, has told us. The cabin is where the potion used to live in seclusion. I also speak the truth, no judge would ever accuse me of deceit. Now that we know my brother's whereabouts, I definitely find him. But Paimon Inus, I don't want to put you at risk. Don't say things like that. You've already decided to help you, right Ignus? Well, in for the more, in for the lot. But an adventure to another world would be quite interesting. And that's our greatest adventure for you. I see, in that case, could you please take this simple test of mine? What, a test? You didn't say anything about that. Don't you trust us? After seeing all of you, and especially after witnessing how valiant this blonde knight is, I took the liberty of inward inwardly labeling you as a beyond question. But to be honest, the paradise of purity is no children's playground. If you lack strength, your lives may be in danger. If the princess ceases to be happy, then I shall never be happy either. So please, make a display of sufficient strength, dear knights. It is a power that springs from purity, and it can control the pure source of water in the world. Thus, the people of this world call it the power of hydro. Water is just hydro, that's nothing difficult for Enos. I see you are willing to follow my plan, in that case let us get straight to it. Please observe these simple mechanisms carefully and light them up with the power of hydro. Didn't have to get pine cones. Amazing all the night, that tiny machine didn't last a minute against you. You really are amazing, Enos. Say Pamo said it was not to worry about. Then please find me pure pine cones. It's a miraculous fruit barn of this place. And please do remember that I need a total of five. Alright, alright, you got it. Seriously. Why do you have to do something as trivial as searching for pine cones? I apologize, but I lack like hands and feet. I'm just a pitiful, lowly little cabin. Let's speed up, Paimo. Uh, I'll, I'll speed things up. The sooner we find the pine cones, the sooner we'll get to see my brother. I'm heading off first, alright? Don't go too far, Blanche. Don't leave our sight. I know. I'll search over here on the east side. I found one, we can do this. So I only have to find four. Huh! <laughs> 
can't see. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Silence! I how many pine cones I've found. We have three over here. I found only one, but I searched the entire area. We have three English as one, so that makes four. Five minus four equals six equals one. Uh, so we only need w one less pine cone. But there doesn't seem to have any nearby. What should we do? And should we speak to the cabin about it? Could it still be studied if something else? Talk to the cabin. That guy doesn't seem that easy to trick. I'm not telling him about tricking them. Just saying that there's only one. Hey, you over there. Your savior, the new tide is here. What are you doing here again? What happened to maintaining a sense of distance? Oh, you're looking for those crappy pine cones, right? And you're looking for more, right? Well, I have the rest. You want them? Wait, how did you know we're looking for the pine cones? Hey, training flyer. Do you want it or not? You've been following us. You've been eavesdropping. Oh, ley lines. Is that the only reason you can think of? Was it shot in uh, tricky bullfruit all over the shop? Huh? The entire mountain heard you. Even children came over out of curiosity. And I'm one of the five great operatives of the fruity order. Do I look like a child to you? I'm sorry, Blanche. Guess my moon really did draw the attention of your brother's enemies. What enemies? I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm here to do business with you. I may not have heard the, your conversation with the person in the cabin, but since Blanche is also helping him, I'm certain it's connected to Bullfruit somehow. Tell me what the person in the cabin said, and I'll give you the rest of the pine cones. It's really simple, isn't it? Or maybe I can take the pine cones from you. Oh, Nara may make me angry. I'm one of the five great operatives of the Fruity order. Do I look like a child to you? Would I carry such items with me? Uh, you wouldn't believe us, even if we told you. It's not something an ordinary person would understand. Don't look down on me. Ordinary people will never understand the teachings of the new tide. Alright then, if you don't mind being scared to death, the cabin is inhuman. What? This concerns another world? Another world? Hear that? Unbelievable, huh? How could there be another world? Paimon bets that's what you're thinking right now. Are you kidding me? Why would I think that? New Tide is exactly that. What? Wait. The New Tide is a world too? Have you been there? I haven't. But so what? I think it exists. I got a problem with that. You should discard all your, your ley line thoughts. Let me tell you this. The order of this world is slipping away, and that's why new worlds are being born. This is also why treasure hoarders are born when there is an imbalance in wealth. Treasure hoarders exist to bring balance back to wealth. The ley lines have contaminated everyone, and so the new tide shall be born. The darkness has contaminated everyone, and so a world of light shall be born. That's how things are. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised even if you told me there were there are other worlds. For a person so full of nonsense, you're really good at accepting new things. Anyway, we told you what you wanted, so it's time to hand over the pine cones. Hey, you're not done. What about bullfruit? That's what I'm concerned about. We've already made our show of goodwill. Don't push it. And then let's both take a step back. I'm not interested in the world beyond the new tide. Uh, and I don't want to know anything else either. I only have a single request. When you find the darn bullfruit, tell him to come and see me as soon as possible. He knows how to find me. Deal? No, you're planning on harming him. Then I would rather never find my brother. Oh, Leyline, the silly girl, we're not the ones hunting your brother. It's someone else. Don't you realize that your brother's life is hanging by a thread right now? Didn't you say your boss was super mad? Oh yes, very mad indeed, so mad in fact that he's special few formed of a woman named Ruthless Scala Lily. Ah. Ruthless Scala Lily. I heard of her before from my brother. He says she never fails. Yes, she's a real 
she's as real as an assassin gets. And this scares one out of us five great operatives. No matter where Bullfrog goes, she will catch him in the end and we will either cut him in half or skin him alive. She never fails. And you are helping my brother? I thought he took what you were looking for. Yes, he betrayed us. Betrayal is despicable. But it's also very cool, isn't it? I've known him longer than you have and I know he doesn't take reckless risks. We can't allow him to die until we know how he came up with such a cool idea. I told Wolfhook immediately after I found out and we need to find Bullfruit before that scary woman does. What will your boss think if he finds out? This is also betrayal, isn't it? That's none of your business. We'll deal with it with the, uh, with the new tide way. Uh, anyway, I think Think about my proposal. I have nothing to hide. If what you said is true, then everything looks fine, but I'm just afraid that you're lying. Hey, unlike Bullfruit, I'm no liar. Oh, where did your companion go then? Where is... Uh, what's his name? Wolfhook. Did you fire him because he didn't help you last time? How old are you again, Trendy Flyer? If I couldn't hear you when you were screaming by cabin, then surely she could too. She must be nearby. Ask Wolfhook to stand guard in the area, we will not give Bullfruit into her hands. You understand now? Alright, we'll trust you on this one. That's right, now I'll take the pine cones. Remember, if you see him, tell him to come see me at once. Hey, you just said you wouldn't carry these things with you. And that was a bluff, of course. You said you are no liar. Uh, what was I going to do if you attacked me, during the flyer? I mean, you can fly. What if you dive from above and mess with my hair? Uh, I'm going to do that, unless you are hiding more in your hair or something. Stop yapping, she'll be here any time, any minute. Of who can I might be able to stall her for a while, but you shouldn't waste your time here. Thank you, Zayton Peach, and thank old Hook for me. We're off. Oh, go on, move it. Kevin, hey Kevin, we have your pure pine cones. Mr. Kevin, are you there? Knock the door. That's strange why is he responding. The guy didn't just live on his own, right? Uh, hurry, over here. That's not like him from behind the cabin. Uh, come closer, please, so I can have a good look at you. Uh, hello, are you the one who said that, Mr. Big Wine Barrel? No, I'm Barrel, I'm the crucible of intense purity. You're obviously a wine barrel, you look nothing like crucible. Ah, princes and two knights, I see. Well, now allow me to offer my humble greetings to such pure individuals as your august selves. Hello, Mr. Crucible, we're here to see Mr. Kevin of intense purity. Do you know where it's gone? I do, I do. I've, I've always been aware of your troubles, dear princess, and I've been waiting for the pine cones. Uh, Kami has gone ahead and it will be able to repair the contaminated path with said pine cones. Oh, so it's another one of you. Your world has quite a few apostles. Huh? Anyway, we found the pine cones, but how do we pass them to you? Just pushing through the hole above me. And it is the path that leads to the world of purity. And then Kevin promised to leave us a key. Paimon, sure it's mentioned that to you, right? Kevin is a fair and kind person with a good temper. And being man, woman or anyone else, Kevin will never allow anyone to offer tribute to it. Yet, you've done Kevin great kindness, so why would he refuse to part with a single key? The people of your world are so strange, and you're all so, and you're so good with words. Anyway, let's put the pack on the scene. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, they should be placed here. Ah, I missed the, this pure taste. Now allow me to fulfill our pledge. Uh, please get a container from over there and collect the medicine that shall be squeezed from the outlet beneath me. When dusk arrives and the sun goes to sleep, drink the medicine and you shall enter the world of intense purity. So the medicine squeezed from the pine cones is the key. That really is something. Well, where's the entrance? You flying knight may be a master of many skills, but unfortunately neither hearing nor memory is one of them. The entrance is through the hole above me. It won't I won't repeat myself again. Hey, it was just a tiny lapse of memory. A tiny one. Hmm, never mind that. Let's go get our key. Uh, which container do I get? Ah. Let's explore out of the outlet. Quickly fills the container. You have obtained the key. Finally, everything has been done perfectly, thanks to you, pure ones. I'm a little reluctant to say goodbye, but even words say farewell sooner or later. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Crossbow of Intense Purity and Mr. Kevin of Intense Purity who left in advance. Once I find my brother, I hope we can thank you in person again. It's my greatest honor to hear such moving words from you, pure princess. As such, I must give you some personal advice. The world of purity only welcomes knights. It would be rather unwise for you to go forth into that place, princess. As for the reason, forgive me, for I cannot say. What a strange rule. We need to think about this carefully. The two of us will suffice. But I am the one who is trying to save my brother, so sh I should be the one taking the risks. If you go instead of me, I feel awful. It's alright. Even that big crucible said that the world welcomes knights. We'll be fine. But it may be more dangerous with you there. But... No buts. Ask the big crucible if you're still worried about us. Crucible? Crucible? Crucible does not respond. Instead, he stares blankly at the sky. Or perhaps he's staring at the world. Or at you. Who knows? Either way, the crucible offers no response. Uh, it has left already. Isn't that a little too soon? Fine. Anyway, I'm sure your brother wouldn't want to see you in danger, Blanche. So just wait here for our return, alright? And then, Miss Paimon, do you remember what Mr. Crossbow said earlier? Let me repeat it to you, if for you, it seems to be the only thing I can do. Dusk is the right time. Drink the key and then enter through the hole above. Mr. Crossbow, to arrive at the world my brother is in. As for what to do after that, it would be amazing, Blanche. Just leave the rest of us. In that case, let's go get some rest now. I'll do the cooking and pitch the tent. I'm very good at it, you know. My brother loves my cooking. Blanche's skills are even better than she claimed. You have nice rest nearby. In the blink of an eye, she the the right time arrives. Uh, well, the sun setting is almost time for a grand adventure into another world. I'll wait here for you too. I won't leave until you come back. Uh, if you get in trouble like my brother, I'll find so much rest for you. I know how to post commissions at the Adventures Guild. You're so nice, Blanche. You should look for a safe place. I think so too. There's still treasure hoarders lurking around, after all. No, it doesn't matter if they find me. They want my brother, and I only know where he is, so they, so they won't harm me. Still, you should be careful. I will. I hope that everything goes your way as well. Thanks. Uh, what kind of place will we find ourselves in? Uh, Pam is getting excited. Inus, take the key out and drink it. Uh. Ah, it's here. Said to be the key to the world of the spirit. In reality, it is a fluid and thus can easily change shape to fit any keyhole. I already used the key and enter. 
pull up in time, opening leap inside, only darkness of its blow. You fall, fall, and fall in darkness. You finally hear a splash. Coldness, dampness, stiffness, and dizziness assault you. But your consciousness begins to drift away. Like ash and coral, you quietly sink into the lifeless depths of the ocean. Some time passes, then you hear a soft voice. Uh, but I'm so dizzy, it feels like she's been sleeping for ages. Whoa, it's so dark in here. It's so wet. Did you fall into water? Hands are you alright? Paimon's got your hand. It's so cold. Come on, she'll warm it up for you. Thank you, Paimon. I'm fine. We have arrived in the world of intense purity. Why is it so dark and cold and damp in here? Uh, it isn't the white, bright and warm world that Paimon imagined at all. Uh, someone's singing. Is anyone there? Hey, now it's a friendly awake. How was your nap? Not good. Is this the word of intense purity? The word of intense purity? You actually believe that? Are you kids? How could you? How could there be another world? This is hilarious. What? We were deceived. Wait. How do you know all this? Who are you? Don't you remember my voice? Seriously, we're at least partially acquainted, aren't we? You, Flying Knight, may be a master of many skills, but unfortunately, neither hearing nor memory is one of them. You are the Crucible of the Spirit, you are the Cabin of the Spirit. Yeah, I'm the Crucible and the Cabin, both. It's always been me. I've been hiding here, hoodwinking folk. Uh, Alright, the people on the street know me by another name, Tricky Bull Fruit. Tricky Bull Fruit, you're Blanche's brother. You're terrible. Where the heck are we? So we're actually inside the wine barrel. Obviously. Did you really think that you could travel to another world like in those novels? Uh, guess you hydro controlling folk really are as naive as children. No wonder you are an ingredient for pure water. What ingredient? You plan to turn us into ingredient? You already are. You've been soaking the barrel for half a day. According to the formula, the power of Hydro should have been isolated by now. I wouldn't have been able to mix pure water without the power of Hydro you possess. Uh, otherwise, who knows when I'd have been able to restore this formula. Oh, I know you're strong, but you can't forget about breaking out the barrel. After all, you drank the key that I prepared for you. It's actually a drug. You must be feeling absolutely weak right now, huh? How could you? You sneak little sneak. Uh, and to think that we were actually helping Blanche look for you. And now you're going to treat us like this? Just for the formula? A stubbornness until the end, huh? You can trick my sister, but you can't trick me. I betrayed the boss, and the boss isn't kind enough to spare me. You are the assassins my boss sent after me, right? You may be skilled, but unfortunately, your brains are lacking. It's time to become ingredients from a potion. You have misunderstood. You've misunderstood. The real assassins are still there. Don't even think about lying your way out of this. My sister is the only person in the world who would lend a helping hand to a stranger without expecting anything in return. That's the greatest flaw in your plan. Uh, what we said is true. Blanche will corroborate it. Uh, and even and we've even met one of your compatriots. They are the ones who are really hunting you. Wait, where did she go? Or was she in cahoots with you? Did she deceive us too? Don't you insult her? Don't you ever use the word to describe her? She's purer than all of you combined. That silly girl actually jumped in after the two of you, and I even warned her not to come here. Seriously. Luckily, I was watching, and I immediately sent her outside. But her body is too weak, so sh she should still be unconscious right now. Then you'll know the answer once she wakes up. We're not here to hunt you down. Brother, brother, you're back. When did you get back? I miss you so much. Sis, when did you wake up? You should be you should be resting. I'm so happy that you're back. I had a dream where you were singing to me. And when I woke up, you were staying before me. I'm so, so very happy. English and Paimon rescued you, didn't they? Where are they? What? Who are those people? They are nice people who are helping me. Did they get left behind the world? Did you not see them? How could this? 
Don't cry. Have you ever considered that they might have been sent to hunt me down? Hunt you down? No way. You met a colleague of yours earlier. They said that someone known as the Ruthless Color Lily is after you. Blush explains how you met. How can this be? She's coming for me? Did I really make a mistake? Anyway, if Ignis and Paimon really have been left behind the world, then we must rescue them. Uh, Blanche, we're over here. Wait, I hear them. Oh, that's great news. Where are you? Are you inside Mr. Crucible? Uh, no, there's no Mr. Crucible. Yeah, we're inside Mr. Crucible. Are you stuck? Give me a moment. Let me see if I can pull you out from the opening. Wait, give me a moment. Uh, free me. I was wrong. I'll release you immediately. What? What are you saying? The man of orange hair quickly pulls you out of the wine barrel and starts explaining everything to his sister. What? How could you do that? The evil considers all other to be evil? Yeah, how could you? I was gonna throw you inside for three days and nights. Rather, apologize now or I'll never forgive you. I'm sorry. Maybe you can invent by hitting me. I won't fight back. Just do this. <laughs> he really went too far. I truly don't know how to apologize to you. Really? Perfect. Give him a good beating. Mess up his hair. Go on. Don't worry about hitting me too hard. I'll drink some fresh pure water and I'll be able to take quite a beating. I'm trying to use this as an opportunity to test the potion of yours. Use like fox. Your apology doesn't feel very sincere now. No, not at all. It just happened. Uh, it's just that if this potion's effects are as the legend says, then I can make another for you. Uh, is that enough sincerity for you? Well, really, that does sound pretty nice. How much more is it worth it? Uh, I hear the inferior version of it sells really well in the fortress of Meropid, so I'm sure the original will definitely sell for even more power. So you betray your companions for more? I have my reasons. If any of them bothers you, feel free to include those when hitting me. Uh, the young man walks over to the wine barrel, extracts some potion made from soaking, from you soaking in the barrel, and then goops it all down. So traveler bath water. Hey, wouldn't that stuff be considered our bath water? Is our bath water that amazing? Do it. I'm ready. Are you going to hit back? No? Bow your head! Let the mighty be humble! <laughs> uh, watching the beating of Paimon's spirit back up, that's for sure. In the same words, ice cold in the wine barrel, and it was all your fault. Yo, you really didn't hold back. I'm not complaining though, I'm praising you. You're really strong. Come on brother, please, just stay silent. So that's all there is to pure water. No, something seems to be off about it. I've tried the inferior version, but this performed even worse than that. Did something go wrong with the production? Ah, it feels like Pamon's 100,000 more per day just became a mere 10,000. Uh, I've compared all the ingredients with the potion used manuscript, so there's definitely no problem here. Besides the ingredients extract from the two of you, that is... Don't push the blame on us, how could it be our problem? We're pure enough. No, that's not what I mean. In the manuscript, the ingredients... The ingredients known as a part of water, so I thought it made hydro. So that's why you wanted to test us with those hydro mechanisms while we were disguised as cabin. I'm embarrassed to say that there may be an error in my understanding, but what does the power of water represent? I must figure it out. Have you forgotten that you're still being hunted? It's alright, we accept your apology. You're being hunted. I know, Kalilidri never fails, but I cannot stop here. I must I must finish it. I have no other choice. Mama doesn't quite get you. Isn't the power of water just the power of water? Power of water? Only hydro holds power, right? What other kind of power could water hold? 
You've told me so many stories, brother. So you know that in many stories, water itself is power. Water itself? That's right. It's just the story about the pioneer which you told me when I was young. The story about obtaining pure water from the world of purity. But wasn't that just a lie? That's the only part I made up. The rest has been passed down word by uh, has been passed down by word of mouth for generations. They said that there was once a handsome but eccentric man in the Fountain Research Institute, a prodigy in potions and alchemy. But as the institute fo institute's focus was not on potions and alchemy, and due to due also to his slightly withdrawing narcissistic tendencies. He was somewhat ostracized. Later on, he came to these mountains to live in seclusion and continue his research, and he invented many miraculous potions. Unfortunately, none of them were preserved because he poured them all into the ground. He poured them all away? Yes, that's what the stories say, and that's why he's considered weird. Maybe all geniuses are like that. But there was a turn of events later on, and some said that it was the work of the Hydro Archon who couldn't bear to see those legendary potions just vanish. As more and more potions were poured there, they gradually formed a small pond. The potioner was so amazed by the pond's formation that he sat nearby and admired it all day. There was a pond nearby. No one knows if he was indulging in his own masterpiece or his own reflection in that masterpiece of his. That's so intriguing, what happened next? After that, the young man would immerse himself in the pond all day, but one day he accidentally slipped into the pond and drowned in his own creation. Uh, some time later, a, light, a little blue and white flower emerged from the center of the pond, its beauty rivaling that of the potioner. Oh, that's such a sad story. Wait, a pond with a little flower? Hasn't pond Paimon seen a place like that? Are you serious? I mean, I didn't make this up, but it's still just a legend. It's wrong here. You haven't looked around to look for it. Paimon, but Paimon really has seen it before, um, but she can't remember where. Do you remember it? In the world of intense purity? I think I remember. Uh, guess you don't believe Paimon, huh? But she really has seen it, you know? I know, we passed by a small pond like that while we were gathering pine cones. There was a little flower at the center of the pond. Really? That's a story, are you sure? I never noticed. We overlooked all that because you were too fo so focused on directing us. That's wh why only Blanche remembers. Yeah, it seems I really uh, forgot it. Shall we head over and have a look? Perhaps the key to the power of water lies in the pond. He couldn't have made the potion after he drowned. It's finally over. There were so many monsters. I attracted them. They might have spawned here, which means that there might be some kind of wonderful power in this area. You see the little flower in the middle of the pond? It's just like the legends. It does look different from an ordinary flower. But the dew drops are so shiny. They are more beautiful than they will find elsewhere. Let's collect some. Two drops that have formed by absorbing essence. Maybe that's the truth, truth behind the power of water. Uh, I can feel the power within these two drops just by looking at them. I have a strong feeling now. That our next mixture will, have, will be a success. Let's go back and give it a try.
Uh, great, 10,000 more, now feels like 100,000 more. I'll start mixing now, just wait a moment. Now we're sharing. Man, young man starts working in front of the console and a small joy soon appears on his face. Uh, we've done it, we've done it. I don't even need to try it out, I just know it. This is so much better than the repass in the Fortress of Mirror Pit. Oh, our work fin finally paid off. Great, you're amazing. So are you, Ignus Paimon. No, you contributed the most, Blanche. Yes, if she hadn't remembered the story in the pond. That's nothing, brother. I remember everything you ever said. Uh, thank you, both of you, for not holding a grudge. I made two copies of the formula as I promised, as my apology. Nice, you kept your word. We'll gladly take it. That said, though, we only need one. And there's one for you, Blanche. Why? You can just take some. It's not like I'm going anywhere, right? No, we can't stay together forever. You have a bright future. That's not something you should waste here. Take the complete formula uh, to the new F Fontaine Research Institute. If they don't think it's important enough, then go somewhere further out. Go to the Academy in Sumeru, or Liyue, or even Mondstadt. Someone will appreciate it enough to take you in. You can be like other girls, you can get a good education in school, it's much better than listening to Umai tall tales. Uh, is that why you made a potion? No, I've heard you say this stuff too many times. I'll go wherever you go. Aren't you going to listen to your brother? Not anymore. No, I don't. Now when you talk about this, I don't want to get mad at you. Please listen to me. I hate when you try to act like a big brother. Blanche, come back. It's not safe around here. Oh boy, there she goes. Looks like you really made her mad this time. I don't want her to become just like me. I don't want her to become a treasure hoarder. She'll understand one day. Either way, we have to find her. It's too dangerous out there. Can't trouble you again to help me find her. I can only trust the two of you with this. She's family, isn't she? Why don't you do it yourself? I still need to wrap this potion stuff up. Still thinking about your blessed potions, huh? Uh, Paimon's got nothing to say to you. Inus, let's go find Blanche. There you are. Inus, Paimon, he's trying to keep me out again. He's not. He just wants you to live a better life. Why isn't he here then? Well, he must be upset that I'm always so clingy, but I just want to be with him. What's wrong with that? Well, he's doing this because he loves you. Don't you think he must really regret becoming a treasure hoarder? I, but I don't mind. He was already a treasure hoarder when he found me. When he found you? Uh, he said he saw me crying on the side of the road when he was out scavenging one day, so he took me in. That was before I could speak and remember things. In that case, I, uh, can I just become a treasure hoarder too? But won't he let me? He's so full of himself. Treasure hoarder, well, maybe... Anyway, let's go back first so he can stop fretting. Uh, but he's not going to change his mind, is he? You talk to him, you're his family, but I'm sure you can work something out. Yes, so, thank you both, but please, you have to help me convince him. Don't worry, we will. Wait, do you hear something? Call Lily, uh, you must die, right? Oh no, it's Ruthless Call Lily. That's my brother. We have to save him? I didn't think the boss was saying you, Call Lily. Well, uh, I didn't think you would betray us either, O oh Fruit. Uh, there are things that I must do. Little, the little bread you found, I presume. Uh, how do you know? I had countless chances to make my move, but I didn't kill anyone before. I, f I don't kill anyone before I figure out what's going on. Well, now I know everything. 
so I must die, right? It's good that you are ready to pay the price. You did betray the organization for her sake after all. Actually, I have something to say. Bullfruit made a mistake, sure, but shouldn't we take a vote on this? We should have... Uh, we should have had a share in the formula that he took. That means we should have a say in this, right? As such, I propose we put the decision to kill Bullfruit on a vote. After all, the minority must obey the majority, right? Isn't that how the world works? Wolfhook, say something. Don't you live by the rule? Oh, why are you so afraid of her? We are all pursuers, aren't we? Having Wolfhook saw me, you may as well have asked the, a ship to stop a wolf. Is your new tide ju just on foolery, Zayton Peach? Hey, leave the new tide out of this. The fruity order is ceased to maintain order and balance loss in this world. We must not skip the vote. There's no need to vote. Seriously, this should be you silly. I think Wolf Hook understands that my presence represents the opinions of the boss and the rest of the group. If the three of us are opposed, uh, isn't three against several dozen? And yes, in a perfect world, the minority must obey the majority. Mm, but there is one more thing, Kala Lily. Mm? I've always treated everyone in the order like family, even both fruit, even you. Families do not do not watch one another die, whether at the hands of outsiders or one of our own. Do you mean to say that you are abandoning your own principles? What I'm saying is that when it comes to family, it doesn't matter who's the majority and the minority. Looks like I went too easy on you back when you pathetically begged for your life. I'll do whatever it takes to stay alive, but now that there are three of us, we might stand a chance. Too cool, brother, too cool. Is this your latest principle? No, Bullfruit don't tell me about this. I just never applied it until today. So another one wants to die? Well, Zayton Peach, are you sure? Do you really want to betray the boss? Stop trying to put words in my mouth. I'll explain this to the boss myself. By the way, I'm tired of our arrogance. Also, why don't you think about your name for a moment? Is there fruit? Arca Lily's fr fruits? <laughs> I don't even know how you managed to become one of us. In fact, you're the real traitor. You betrayed us simply by having a name. I'm gonna show <laughs> I'm gonna show you what for today. Uh, I see that you don't want to leave either. Fine. The order's cleanup starts today. Zayton Peach, Wolf Hook, I'm happy that you still consider me family. But I've been a crook my whole life. And this might be my last day in this world. So please, just let me do the right thing for once. Stay out of it. This is my problem and I should deal with it by myself. That way, the boss won't give you any trouble either. Are out of your mind? This is not time to try to be cool. Don't worry, I replicated the pure water, so I might stand a chance. If that's really what you want, then I'll support you. Sounds great. If I don't come back, please take care of my sister for me. Let's see what you've got. Do I have to do anything? He'll do great. Huh. Apparently he doesn't lose life either. I never noticed when they throw axes, the axe stays on the ground for a little while.
It's my loss. Wait, is this for real? How is she, how is she so weak? Did my scoring affect her mentally or something? Am I even that amazing? It is strange. She was way stronger back when she attacked me. But even a child could fight her right now. Tell me the truth, Kalili. Is my potion too strong or are you just going easy on us? Isn't this because of Ignis' help? I didn't do anything. Even if we consider that, it certainly still doesn't feel right. A loss is a loss. I accept my defeat. You... The boss won't come for you anymore. Really? That's how the boss works. Uh, I may not like Kyla Lily, but if the boss sent her, then the boss won't pursue the matter no matter the outcome. The Kala Lily who never fails has failed. You guys are pretty good, huh, brother? Yeah, yeah, you're the best, if that's what you want. Either way, you better figure out how we're gonna explain this to the boss. Kalalili is definitely going to tell on us. Hurry up and ask your new type for solutions then. I've been counting on it from the beginning, you know? What new tide? I've never even seen the new tide. Stop being a kid, forget it. And let's think about it after we get back. No matter how great she is, she only has a single mouth, but we have two. It's two against one. One's completely useless when it's two against one. Naive idiots, I'm leaving. Wait, Kalalili is the Tom Peach Wolfhook. I have something for you. When she takes out a handwritten note and hands it over. Hmm? This is the formula of pure water that my brother deciphered. This belongs to all of you too. He wronged all of you, so allow me to apologize on his behalf. I hope you can forgive him. He only did it for my sake. Sis. I see. Listen to your brother from now on, girl. If I had a brother too, I might not have turned up this, out this way. Hmm? Time to go. Take care of your sister, crappy bull fruit. Uh, see you, Blanche. Bye, bull fruit. And go back to the two of you, too. It's finally over, right? You. No, there's still my sister. No, I don't want to talk about that. You've got to talk, even if you're siblings. Come on, you two. It is right. It's always super important to talk stuff out. We have long conversations every day too. Way too long sometimes. Pamela's got that she pays her food fund after all. Hey, just let Pamela have this, would you? Then, alright. I'll consider what my brother has to say, but I just... I just don't want to be separated from him. You won't truly be apart. Indeed, we'll never truly be apart. It's just that you will experience many things while growing up, and we've all got to learn to live independently. Fine, but then you've got to teach me. Of course, I'll tell you and you can stand on your own two feet. It's a deal then. Alright, so what do you plan to do now? I haven't figured that, that out yet. Anyway, step one is to send a copy of the formula to the New Fontaine Research Institute. It can be considered their inheritance, after all. I might try my luck at the Fortress of Miropi after that. Pure water sells quite well over there. I mean, regardless of what Blanche decides to do, one simply cannot do it on more. You won't get more in the Fortress, you'll get coupons. Clock's ticking, it's time for us to leave. Uh, are we in that much of a hurry? I want to cook for Ignis and Paimon. It's alright, we'll meet again. Alright, if you are too busy, I'll write to the Adventurer's Guild, so don't forget to pick it up. We will. Safe travels. Farewell, Inus. See you, Paimon, and safe travels to you too. I gotta say, Paimon does feel a bit sad to them go, but we've done something very meaningful, huh? Paimon suddenly filled with confidence towards our future journeys, in fact. What's our confidence? You thought of your family just now, right? It was written all over your face. You'll definitely find her, and that's what Paimon's confident in. You should have confidence in it too. When we see her, Paimon will help you talk her around. After all, she only has a single mouth, but we have two, it's two against one. Remember, Newtide said that one is completely useless when it's two against one. 
Don't pick that nonsense. You truly are the trendy flyer. Trendy flyer. Buy most cheering you own. Come on. Anyway, take this. It's Paimon Food Funds. Paimon promised to pay the commission fees, remember? Uh, Paimon super trustworthy, huh? What's with the expression? Too embarrassed to say thank you, Paimon. That's gotta be it. Paimon heard it though. Uh, that's right, you said thank you, Paimon, in your heart, did it you? In which case, you're welcome. Just don't forget to put Marmora in your our food fund from now on, alright? <laughs> Uh, huh? Pam, for fun, informal. Ah, so I can make more of those. Eh, uh, no. Wasn't the other key items. Ah, my coupons are here. Uh, and concentration component. I don't know. Those are the things I give to the. Mirror scenes are they? Ah, uh, the ones I have for the investigation. Choose them for the exact purpose. Ah, uh, what do I do with them? Can I trade them? Okay, back. Oh, uh, ah, uh, here. Pamela use part of her personal food. Fun to pay for your commission fee. Now, the thing about it, she probably has more to scroll away, doesn't she? Yeah, I'm not gonna spend that. I have no idea how many coins this will grant me, but I'm not gonna spend that. It's an exclusive item. Uh, and the pure water. Uh, was regular pure water. I didn't pay attention to the color, but yeah, I guess it was regular pure water. Okay, and that's been enough. Let's just... Hmm, how many days? Ten. Okay, we got time. Not yet. Uh, well, there was an achievement as well. Hmm... Let's quarter coops. Complete the fruit orders in Blanch Story. Forgotten Rim. Help Bragalai retrieve the and organize the our hydrological monitoring data. Alright. And now I'm out. Just get off. <laughs>